Hi everyone, Craig here with Brent. Hey guys, how you doing? Brent's playing Darksiders for the PS3. So last time, what we did is we spent the entire uh, we spent the entire last section there figuring out to get this horde treasure seeker. Yeah, horde treasure seeker. So we know where all the treasure chests are. Yep. Level. Yep. So now we're gonna go get that treasure chest that we seem to have missed somehow. Oh, is that the one where you gotta jump to it? Is that why we never got it? The one where you kept on jumping and jumping and falling in love and you couldn't get to it? Is that where that is? Let's find out. Okay. I hope not. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, is this the right direction? No. Wrong direction. Back up. Turn around Wrong and direction. go right. Go right. Alright, so we've decided we need a navigator. Yep. And that will be you, Craig. Oh, navigator. great. Well, okay. Well, I'm, I'm sitting here doing nothing anyway, so... I might as well help navigate. And there's your treasure chest, right there. So we just missed it, that's all. Where is it? It's above you, I would say, on that ledge that we didn't see. <laughs> hope it's something awesome. Yeah, me too, because... Well, I always hope for stuff that's awesome. Is your hand stuck? <laughs> like, why aren't you going? Okay. It's on your left. Oh, it's creepy looking. Creepy looking chest. Red. Life essence. Okay. So you got a potion. It's a potion. I'll take that. That's not bad. Uh, it's not a much potion, but it is something. So that's good. It's better than nothing. Now, on this level, there's also one more. Uh, way up? Yep. Three more. Yeah, Three. they're all in the same room. Yep. So I'm just going to run straight. Okay. Sounds good. So in this episode, you'll be watching Brent running. Straight. Straight. North. Um, so that's what's going to happen for the next three minutes. I'm guessing. Stay tuned. So, uh, yeah. Run. Good thing is we already got all the doors open, so that's not an issue anymore. Oh, that's why. What? That's why. Do we need to go... What? We can't get them from here. Those are the ones we couldn't get to. The jumping ones? Yes. Oh. If you miss a video where we died repeatedly trying to get up... Good. You don't want to watch it. Because <laughs> it's just dying repeatedly. Basically, we couldn't make a jump. For some reason. And I was thinking we can, might be get it once we go up this level, but clearly not because the door is locked behind me. So we're not going back. But it might put you on a higher up level and maybe you can jump down to it. Yeah, but the door is locked. How will we get back in? Uh, Magic? There's no magic in this game. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, uh, this is the boss. Really? Yes. So we missed a huge amount of this level then, because there's a huge amount of great portion that we haven't seen. Correct. Maybe, boss one of four. Maybe this boss. Maybe this boss fight you're not supposed to actually fight the boss at the end of the level. Maybe it's mid-level boss fight. Terms. That is really weird. I would expect the voice to be more feminine, but yeah. uh, you know, whatever. Oh, oh, bombs! Great. This will not end well for you, horseman. Oh, don't we know it, bro? Run. So you could destroy that, but he could, which shows you how like, how damaging his mouth is there, whatever. Do you know what I would do? I would just pile up the bombs on him. Throw like twenty bombs on him. And Dang. then yeah, and then that way you only need to hit one and they'll all blow up, right? Well, maybe. The, the only problem is though is that you, you don't see his health meter, so you don't know if it actually I can't also avoid that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
dog you can't target it? Great. Man. I have a feeling this episode is going to be full of fail. There you go. Yeah! Times two! <laughs> yeah, get them while you can. And as far as I can tell, there's no chests on this level. It's all just bombs. Yeah, you gotta be good with the aiming on this one in order to, uh, and dodge. Good with dodge. Well, the problem is, like, I'm not close enough to lock on her. Yeah. I don't even know where your bomb went. I don't see it. Alright, here's a question. Yeah. How do I use my life shards? Uh, consumables. A sign. Up. Circle. Triangle. There you go. Full hell. So another question I have now is, if you die, do you lose all your life shards? Like, because you consumed it? Uh oh Here's a question, why can't I lock onto that? Uh, it's on her wing, which is moving a lot. Well, I'm not close enough to lock onto it, though. Like, it's not even giving me the lock-on ability there. Yeah. There you go. Do it. Run. Run. Dodge. So multiple bombs will hurt her more. I don't think that's hurting her. I think that just brings her down. Oh, I see. I see. Because you do get a combo off when you hit her with two bombs at once. I thought, I thought she was taking off there. Circle. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, and I don't have any health shards either. Uh, are you on stone skin? Yes. <laughs> now that I just saw that, might be a good idea. You are so close to death. It's... Oh yeah, I'm not gonna win this one. No. That's a recircle. See, the problem is it's another one of those ones you have to hit. If you don't get the quick time event, you don't get it. So is it that you hit circle fast and then don't hit anything? Because if you hit something else, you'll die? I've been tapping circle. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to hold it. I don't know. You know what the worst part is? I'm probably going to have to uh, right from the beginning of fighting her. We'll try again tomorrow, guys. All right, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to pause and uh, continue this fight tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye.